Thank you, Sharon. Let's keep up the baby talk. Joining me right now is Dr. Alan Copperman, fertility expert at Mount Sinai Hospital. Good to have you back, doctor. Nice to be here. Yeah, you know, you do such good work. I mean, you, you make people feel better. That, that's got to be very rewarding to begin with, right? It's amazing the stories of hope that we can tell these days. I know. And, you know, we were talking a little bit before we went on, the, the, the different reasons why, you know, women decide to freeze their eggs. Mm -hmm. Run down that a little bit for us. Sure. Some women are at mm -hmm. risk of uh, of having premature aging. They have a family history of somebody right. who's, uh, who's had infertility. Some women are about to go through chemotherapy and we want to preserve the eggs before the toxic effects of any of the medications. Mm -hmm. And some women are in their 30s and haven't yet found their partner and so they look forward to having a baby someday and so they preserve their eggs so that we can use them when they're ready to have a child. So what do you think a woman should do? If she's thinking about freezing her eggs, what, what's the first step she should take? The first step she should yep. take is to talk to her doctor or to seek counsel from a reproductive endocrinologist, a fertility specialist, because just with a conversation and a blood test and ultrasound, we can figure out whether she's fertile and how long she might be fertile for and what her chances are of ultimately conceiving. And, and in terms of fertilizing those eggs, I mean, how long do they last? The eggs are frozen in liquid nitrogen. They're right. 321 degrees below zero, so they're metabolically inactive. So if she's got a good egg when she comes in and we freeze the eggs, then they should be okay whenever she's ready to use them in a day, in a decade, or even in 20 years in some cases. I don't think that the eggs are going mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. degrade. They should be able to be viable. There's always new technology out there. Is, there. is there something going on right now that you can share with us, something in addition to what we're talking about? We've gotten re really, really efficient at egg freezing, but I think the key right now is that we're testing embryos. So once she's ready to use these eggs, we're thawing them, fertilizing, and we can genetically test these embryos for mm -hmm. chromosomes. And I think by the time many women are ready to use their eggs, we're going to be able to test them for thousands of genetic diseases and hopefully help them have a healthy child. Oh, that's great. Now, I know you were telling me also this is a, a real team effort that you see from a lot of your clients coming in they have someone with them, whether it's their mom or sister. And tell us more about I that. I think so. I think yeah. that with infertility, sometimes people suffer in shame. And with fertility preservation, with egg freezing, we often see a best friend come in, a sister come in, and really commonly a mom or a mom and a dad walking in. And patients yeah. become empowered by the process. Women are actually taking steps that to helps them have a family when they're ready to have a family. That's always nice, you know, and we just talked a little bit about the, the price we just heard. It can be a little pricey up there. How, how do you handle that? Is there insurance cover some of that expense? We're starting to see some insurances, and even more exciting, we're starting to see some employers recognize how important it is mm. to give women the option of having a baby when they're ready to have a baby. It's a care that I think is going to help em employers recruit young female talent and retain young female talent because they're really committed to the woman's fertility so that right. they're valuing the contribution to the workplace. Yeah, tell me about success stories because that's what everybody wants to hear about, you know, some of the, some of the good stories you can share. I could think of a woman who uh -huh. preserved her eggs before she ended up getting, uh, when she was diagnosed with cancer, and after treatment we thawed them, fertilized them, and she's now pregnant with a healthy baby. And that type of story is happening all the time right now. All right. Dr. Allen, thank you so much for joining us today, okay? Always a Happy pleasure. Happy babies everywhere, we hope, thank and you. healthy ones, right?